in chapter tangents and secants in this session i am going to explain one more interesting construction construction of a tangents to a circle the angle between the tangents is 60 degrees the angle between the tangents inclined the angle between the tangents is 60 degrees it is an important question an exam point of view see the question draw a pair of tangents to a circle of radius 5 centimeters which are inclined to each other at an angle of 60 degrees means the angle between the two tangents must be 60 degrees see the rough diagram so for a given circle of radius 5 centimeters so this is the center we have to draw the two tangents from the external points for the external point can draw two tangents and the angle between the two tangents we have to draw 60 degrees the angle between the two tangents must be 60 degrees so look at the point of inter point of contact a and b here the point is p p a and p b are the tangents and the angle between the tangents is 60 degrees so for this what we have to do so this is our construction so for this what we have to do observe join o a and o b so angle at a is 90 degrees because at a point of contact the angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degrees and angle at b also 90 degrees because the at a point of contact angle between the radius and tangent is 90 degrees so if you, if you observe carefully o a p b is a quadrilateral o a and observe this p b and this is a quadrilateral o a p b is a quadrilateral from angle sum property of a quadrilateral the sum of the four angles must be 360 degrees angle sum property of quadrilateral sum of the four angles must be 360 degrees here the three angles are known 90 plus 90 180 180 plus 60 180 plus 60 240 so 360 minus 240 is equal to 120 so here the angle at o must be 120 degrees so what we have to do listen carefully once again so first we have to draw a circle of radius 5 centimeters next a radius oa and we have to form an angle 120 degrees at o and at a 90 degrees and at b 90 degrees then automatically angle at p is 60 degrees so this is a rough diagram now we have to draw the actual diagram for the given data now see it is a circle of radius 5 centimeters given in the question 5 centimeters radius so first draw a radius like this so obviously it is 5 centimeters and locate here the point a next we have to draw an angle 120 degrees at center of the circle o we have to locate angle 120 degrees at the center of the circle so for this what we have to do observe carefully keep the center of compacts at o draw an arc draw an arc like this next keeping the center at here observe keeping the center at here draw arc so this indicates 60 degrees this indicates 60 degrees again by keeping the center at here see by keeping the center at here draw one more arc that indicates 120 degrees 60 plus 60 120 first of first angle 60 degrees second angle 60 degrees 60 plus 60 120 degrees so here the angle is 120 degrees and look at this point draw a line segment nothing but that is the radius of the circle draw through center o and the intersection of the arcs and look at the point with b look at the point with b here this angle this angle is 120 degrees the angle is 120 degrees next what we have to do we have to draw angle 90 degrees at a and at b both are same process now observe carefully so same process as 120 so keeping the center at a keeping the center at a draw an arc so this is an arc 
now same here keep the center at here draw an arc so this indicates 60 degrees and again keep the center at here draw one more arc that indicates 120 degrees but we need 90 degrees so what do we have to do for this here the angle 60 and this is 120 draw angular bisector of 60 and 120 the angular bisector of 60 and 120 is 90 degrees so for this so the same process keep the center at here 60 degrees draw an arc so this is an arc and keep the center at here 120 degrees draw an arc which cuts the previous arc so locate the point of intersection of these two arcs so this is the point of intersection of these two arcs and this is a point a draw a line through point a and the point of intersection of these two arcs so draw a line through the point of intersection of arcs and the, through the point a extend this line so here the angle indicates 90 degrees so this is an angle of 90 degrees now do the same process at b also do the same process at b also so for draw an arc by taking b as a center so like this and keeping the center at here draw an arc so this indicates angle 60 degrees and again keeping the center at here draw one more arc this indicates 120 degrees but we need the angle 60 degrees but we need the angle 90 degrees for this same process locate the angular bisector of angle 60 and 120 so same process here draw the arcs first keep the center at 60 degrees and draw an arc and putting the center at here 120 degrees draw one more arc so these two arcs intersect at this point so draw a line through point b and the point of intersection of arcs so listen here carefully draw like this so here these two lines intersect at a point p and what is the angle at point p yes very good the angle at point p is 60 degrees why the angle at point is 60 degrees o a p b is a quadrilateral angle at a and angle at b both are 90 degrees both are 90 degrees 90 plus 90 180 degrees angle at o is 120 degrees 180 plus 120 300 so from angle some property of quadrilateral some of the angles in any quadrilateral is 360 here the 300 completed the remaining angle at p must be 60 degrees p a and p b nothing but the tangents of a circle tangents of this given circle and the angle between the tangents is 60 degrees so this is our construction for the given question angle between the tangents is 60 degrees now see if the angle between the tangent is 45 degrees is given instead of 60 degrees if 45 degrees is given then how to construct the tangents so for this take the angle at a center o angle at the center o instead of 120 take the angle 135 degrees because the sum of the angles at o and at p is 180 degrees so 135 plus 45 is 180 so if the angle between the tangents is 45 degrees then take the angle at the center o is 135 degrees so here the main concept is the angle at o angle at p is equal to 180 degrees angle at o and angle at p must be 180 degrees. sum of these two angles must be 180 degrees if it is 45 then here the angle at o is 135 if it is 60 then angle at o is 120 because the sum is 180 degrees so like this we can draw any tangents if the angle is given the process is the sum of angle at o and at p is 180 degrees